All right, guys, thanks for joining me for the huddle today. Um, this is actually going to be um, a fairly short huddle. And I want to say, um, as you can see, no projector, no nothing. It's just me kind of talking. Um, what I want to talk to with you all about today and all of you at home that are going to, uh, if you run into problems with your contracts, issues with contracts, amendments, terminations, anything, just ask, right? That's a really simple message, but it seems to uh, be that we've been seeing a lot recently where um, you all come to us at the 11th hour um, where you're asking for help with something. If you're seeing an issue that's coming up, um, ask ahead of time, preemptively ask. Send it to the help desk, call the broker hotline. I don't care how you do it, just make sure you ask. Um, so one of them that came up this weekend, the agent asked, and I'm not gonna share their name, uh, but ran into an issue where there are repairs going on at the house that were agreed to in the contract. Um, it was a septic system, right? So they are inspecting the septic system. Well, the septic system was buried under a slab, a patio slab, and then a deck built over top of it, <laughs> right? So um, they agreed to, to, to have the, the seller agreed to have the septic inspected, repaired, all that stuff. Came out to be about $13,000 that the seller is doing this. Well, they um, obviously had to tear out the slab and tear apart the deck, a portion of the deck. And the seller is, was trying to say, no, we just have to fix that. We don't have to put the property back in its current, in, in the condition in which it was under contract. Right, so the agent asked the question, called the broker hotline, question came up, okay, there's language in the contract, here's the exact language that you sent to them. No, they have to restore it back to its condition when the property was under contract, right? But if he hadn't called and then um, we bump up against closing and issues come up, now we're dealing with a whole last minute issue. So very thankful um, that, that that came up. Um, another one is with termination and releases. If it's not during due diligence, just ask us, okay? We may be able to come up with a workaround where we can fight for the earnest money. It doesn't mean that you're gonna get the earnest money or that you're not gonna have to give the earnest money, but just run it by one of the help desk or the broker hotline, one of us brokers here. Have us take a look at it, explain the situation quickly, and we will review it and go, no, we might be able to make an argument here in order to fight for the earnest money. At least the posture, you never know, the other agent may be weak and may go, okay, we'll sign it, we agree, that's right, and give you the money or give the money to our client. You know what I mean? So um, that came up recently as well where the seller, the seller refused to sign an FHA amendatory clause at the closing table. <laughs> um, uh, thankfully, they agreed to give the earnest money, but I mean, what happens if the agent hadn't asked and gone through everything with us, you know what I mean? If we were on the other side of the, the table, I could have made an argument that that amendatory clause is not a part of the contract and the seller isn't necessarily obligated to sign it if they hadn't already. Make sense? So, I mean, I can argue both sides of most stories when it comes to contracts. There's lots of gray area in it. It's not always black and white. So um, don't expect each and every one of you to be experts at it. Just ask, right? So just ask. Got a question for you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, do we want to keep recording here? Question, Chris. We had mold removal come in, got the kitchen. Got the kitchen. Well, half of it. And then we put in new cabinets. Mm -hmm. The new cabinets don't match the cabinets that still remain. Do we have to paint them? Do you have to paint them? Is the house in substantially the same condition as when it went under contract, if not yes, a slightly exactly. improved? Oh, yes. um, I would, I can make an argument both ways. Do you have to? Uh, My seller doesn't no. want to. Your seller doesn't want to? Work, work it out with the buyer, yeah. It's gonna cost them money to paint them, but they could have put white cabinets in as well. It would have been a little more expensive to put white cabinets in in the first place. So I think your seller's kind of under an obligation to paint them. But I can make an argument to not and say, meh. Okay. Hey, hey, buyer, uh, no, the cabinets are in there. The, the structure of it is the same. We'll never be able to match the white paint. So do you want mismatch white paint on here or would you like to paint them yourself? Can make an argument both ways. Good deal, good answer. Yep. 
Good answer. Yes, Miss Marie. Why would the seller not want to sign an amendatory clause? The FHA it was a difficult seller, and it's a long story that we won't get into. Um, it, it all origin it, so it all originated. I'll start off. It all originated with the contract being signed. There was a counter offer. The seller never signed the FHA amendatory clause amendment, the FHA amendment, because there was a counter offer. Well, technically speaking, they don't have to sign that because they signed the counter offer form, right? If you go back to Real Estate 101, I can write you an offer on this page. The rest of it's just details. All the stuff that's in the GAR contracts just protects buyers and sellers and us, right? Isn't that required from a lending perspective? It is, absolutely. What does the lender have to do with the seller? And if they didn't get it signed within the finance contingency period, were at fault, yeah. right? They should have presented it to the seller. Hey, we need this within the finance contingency period. And then they would have signed it or they would not have. And the buyer could have terminated within finance and gotten the earnest money, no problem, right? So making a long story very short. There's a whole bunch of details with this one as well, but all right, good deal. Thank you.